sneak in on a pin. Big release drummer from Molly into the ropes on Kenny. Oh, but the Reynolds draft. She just tapped Morte. Did she tap? That's it. Chaos in the ring. Mickey has a hold of Gina. Oh, back right to the Gina. Powerhouse. Molly's still down as Mickey goes off by Gina. Kate's going to go after Molly. This is Hello, welcome to Immortality, the third part two, Blaze Night Two. That is right, Ziggy. We have we're getting straight into the action tonight, and uh, you can see right there Ashley Presley heading to the ring. She is heading to the ring for the hardcore having match we had this last year. It's five ladies in the ring. It is elimination by table only. No disqualification, no pinfalls, no submissions. Last lady standing gets a shot at a title of her choosing. That is right. This is Ashley's second appearance in the hardcore having match. She actually won last year's hardcore havoc and went on to unsuccessfully challenge the pinnacle with the Daughters of Destiny. That's not all we got tonight, though, Blaze. We also have the second match in the DVSA International Tournament. Filthy Phil will finally get his one-on-one -on -one day with Tony Sinclair, a man who has been uh, a thorn in his side this year. Yeah, you know he's been looking for this fight for quite some time. Uh, of course, his conspiracy theories about what's going on, he looks to settle tonight. Yeah, hopefully, at least against Tony. I mean, and while we, uh, we're speculative on some of those conspiracy theories, we've got to say, I think Tony has been uh, a little bit of a thorn in his side. Oh, I could definitely agree. Uh, then we, of course, have the main event will be the Pinnacle Team defending their doubles ultra championship against Powerhouse. Pinnacle Team never beaten for those titles, never beaten, period, in dual in uh, doubles ultra competition uh, and this is step one to Gina possibly breaking a record this year and becoming a dual champion that is, that is correct this is she could be the first lady to hold that prestige in OMGW she would be the first wrestler no guy has either whole held a title at the same time either so it's a big night it, it's a we got big finale here big finale we just saw Bodica enter, and now we see the professor at the top of the ramp. La Professor! Marielle Bruchard, uh, very technical. I, I gotta say, I think she's, uh, she's not in a match that suits her skill set, that's for sure. No, these multi-lady matches can give her some problems with her very precise style. She's also very, very technical and very, very grounded submission based. And uh, I don't think that lends itself to putting someone else through a table very well. Yeah, power is definitely what you're looking for in this, these types of matches. Yes, yes, yes. Power or sheer brutality and the French lady just doesn't have either one of those. Maybe she'll surprise us, though. I will say, though, she is regularly teaming with uh, Bodica as her doubles ultra, ultra partner. Though uh, they don't seem as tight as some other teams, we'll have to see uh, how that shakes out tonight. Entry number four is the other daughter of Destiny, Kim Presley. Um... And to say that the Presley sisters' relationship is tenuous at best, I would think uh, is an understatement. Definitely they end up colliding with each other in the ring more often than not. Yeah, you start to see a little sibling rivalry happen while they're supposed to be working together out there. Well, and they have been in many promotions before together. Both of them uh, daughters of the Hall of Famer Ashton Presley III, um who uh, was well known for proclivities. They have different mothers, but uh, uh, they've been together often as a team, never quite pulled gold, um, but they've also fought a lot. Um, so yeah, you gotta wonder if uh, their relationship isn't, uh, I mean, and hey, anybody who's heard of Ashley talk knows it's uh, not easy to, uh, <laughs> not easy to take orders from her.
Somebody's taking a very long time to enter the ring. I, I've got an assumption as to who it is. The Lady of the Night. The Undead Queen. Yeah, let's call her that, not Lady of the Night. That has a... Good call, that good call. That was some, definitely a mistake some on my part. Uh, I, I don't think I would want Muerte as my Lady no, of the Night. No, I, and I definitely don't want her to think that I'm calling her a Lady <laughs> of the Night. So I'm glad you have uh, stopped me right there. Definitely misspoke. Uh, yes, this is Muerte de Muerte. Uh, the luchador from the other side and one half of Savage and a lady killer. Yeah, part of the Killers Club. Yep. Who have been being picked apart to so far this, this The second series. half of this year, they've kind of gotten their comeuppance a little bit and uh, we were very worried, you and I, at the first half of this year when they were just dominating everything. But, they were uh, taking over. Amy Scott lost to Allie. Uh, the Killers Club team of OGK and Marauder did not win the Apex Survivor match. Um, and, uh, yeah. So now, the only two remaining members who haven't had their matches for Immortality is this one, Muerj, and, uh, well, of course, Roadkill in what's going to be a historic I Quit match with Zachariah Hard Rock. Yeah, who we saw on iPhone get slowly picking apart. Oh, man. The, yeah. the uh, male side of the Killers Club. Also, just a quick announcement, if you were somebody who recently attended a show and have lost their phone, please contact us. We just have a ton of them laying around in the back, just constantly recording footage. So please get in touch with Lost and Found here, and we will get your phone back to you. Right off the bat, Bodica going for the professor and then quickly being intercepted. Meanwhile, Merge is wasting no time. She wants tables in the ring. Student of the Dudley boys here. Kelly to the outside. Bodica going after Marielle. Guess that partnership is... Uh, yeah, that's right out the window. Yeah, that's... Uh, huge headbutt from Kim to Marielle. Meanwhile, Merge is working on Ashley. Surprisingly, the daughters have not connected at all. Got some scrum going on in the ring. Some scrum indeed. <laughs> some scrum. Not quite how you use that word. I don't know why I said it in the good, first place, but the two uh, uh, giant ladies are paired off in the match with Morte. <laughs> and and uh, couldn't have said it better myself, there, Blaze. The two giant ladies <laughs> are in the ring. Oh, big hit! is just trying to set up the table and get this thing on. Woo! Ashley Presley taking Bodica down. High impact. You know, it's just the excitement of being in here, Blaze. Immortality the third. Third time we're doing this. <clears throat> oh, and we got some chaos going on while Kim tees off on Marielle. Bodica's going to send Muerte out of there. There's only room for one giant lady. Nope, she followed. Nah, nah, there's no, there's no room for any giant ladies, <laughs> apparently. Ashley gets Bodica looking, though. I like how Ashley's been attacking only people who are attacking other people. That seems to fit her personality. Oh, huge spinning power slam in the ring on the table to Marielle from Kim. Brutal move. The no table was not set, set up, up so. yeah. So it's just damage, no broken table. Marielle is getting destroyed. Muerte's down from a shot. Well, we have Kim looking to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing with that table. She wants to show it to her. She wants her to know to see her fate in the future. I think she knows, Kim. I think she knows now you can move it. <laughs> All to throw it back where it was. <laughs> Dude, Muerte and Bodica are squaring up. Yes, Ziggy's like, Lady of the Night and the Viking no. Goddess. <laughs> uh, side suplex on Muerte. And now Bodica and Kim are standing. Bodica's teeing off on Ashley, though. 
Oh, she catches Kim looking in a different direction. Got her by the throat. What's she thinking here? Huge shots to the stomach. Right to the baby maker. Oh, big shot from. Well, we got a neck breaker there. Neck breaker from uh, the professor to Kim. High angle drop kick from Bodica to Ashley. Man, they are already. They have just. They have just the crap out damaging of each, other. each other to make before they worry about that table. No eliminations yet. Again, one of these ladies, whoever wins, they can choose to take a t team shot at the Doubles Ultra title next year or a shot at the Ultra Division Championship next year. What is Morante doing with Kim? Going for the snake eyes, hanging her up. Meanwhile, Professor's going to go with what she knows and hurt those arms. Fireman's carry from Kim to Muerte. They're going to send Muerte out the top rope. Something about the killers, the lady killers. They just get sent out a lot. They do indeed. Bodica may be going to do something with this table. No. Intercepted by Marielle. Could this be uh, a record for the longest amount of time a table's been in the room and not it's broken? It's quite possible. <laughs> the table was in there immediately and <laughs> hasn't even been set up yet. Has not been set up. It has been used. It has not been set up. Has not been broken. And it's down again. It's not a good match for... Whoa! Oh! Huge press slam to Ashley Presley. Yeah, that's going to take the wind out of your sails. <laughs> And then uh, following it up with a shoulder check. Ah! Back body drop. And then a spine buster. Bodica has laid out Ashley. Yeah, she's definitely going to have to roll out. Huge Death Valley driver from Kim to Muerte. And they were squaring off when Marielle tries to jump in. Bodica just bringing the pain right now. She is dominating. She's dominating right now. You gotta wonder if it's not Kevin Tutalik's uh, um, expertise on her. Very well could be. We haven't seen this kind of aggression from Bodequa, and at least I can't no. recall it. I mean, she's always a physically uh, a, a, a physically intimidating specimen, but she doesn't seem to come away with the W very often, and she is showing her stuff tonight. Somehow Ashley Presley has recovered enough to be up on the oh! drop kick straight off the top rope by the professor. She maintains her bearing and oh! misses with a huge flying drop kick off the top rope. What an exchange! What an exchange! She still manages to get the better Marielle into that double gut buster. Marielle's out of the ring. Mary take. Oh! Merite sends Bodica out and then gets a blind side drop kick from Ashley. Is Ashley going to set up a table? Do we have a table set up? Y nope. No. 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 Not, not yet. happening. Oh, uh, and the sisters have turned on each other. I don't know if Ashley meant to do that, honestly. She just turned and DDT'd. Because they were working together until then. And Holy shit, folks. You see it here. There's a table set up in up. the corner. And Ashley looks to be putting her sister through Oh, my it. God. She's taking the... This is messed up. This is messed up. Kim was just checking on her. Ashley just put her down. Oh! Marielle's going to stop it, and they're going to struggle. Russian leg sweep to Marielle. Was, oh, man, Ashley is cutthroat as they come. Putting Kim back into the table. She's in danger. Kim's going to reverse it. I thought she was going through the table. I did too. Not quite enough. Going to... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, suplex oh, into oh, the oh, table. Oh, Ashley Presley gets her comeuppance right there as she tried to turn on her sister. Her sister turned the cards back on her. That was amazing. That was amazing. Kim, Ashley tried to get her when she wasn't looking, and Kim was like, no, thank you, B. Muerte is trying to walk into the non-existent table. I also want to point out, Merite stopped what she was doing as soon as the table broke to put another table in. Like, there has to be a table in there. Yeah, we're not going to use them, folks, but they're going to be there. <laughs> Kim, however, setting up the table in the ring. We've got some danger. Nobody in there to go through it right now. We are down to four. Kim Presley. 
Muerte de Muerte, Bonica, and Marielle Broussard. Looks like they're both teaming up on Muerte at the moment. It's not working out so far. Kim hits the table hard. Hits the table oh. again and just goes down. Bodica, however. Oh, they, the table is definitely being used now. No damage, though. <laughs> Side suplex. Mary Albert shard straight through the table. Shut in a brain buster <laughs> pile drive. And Bodica is on top. Everybody's down. I think she's going for table number three. No, no chair. chair. No. It's like, oh shit, I grabbed the wrong thing. Yes. <laughs> she can't decide whether to use it or not. Chair's down. Oh. Shoulder check to Murray blindside. Kim's out of the ring now. She's going for another table. Which I don't know where that came from. Did you see where that table came from? I don't know where that Yeah, it must have. Maybe when Bodica slid the chair out, it bumped the table out the but other that, side. That definitely seems physically possible. Definitely. Definitely seems physically possible. I'm sure scientists could look at that and go, Yep, Makes right sense. through the turn bumble and everything. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> <laughs> Kim is on top now. Muerte, these ladies have absolutely destroyed each other. Bonica finally showing some signs of weakness as Kim tees off with suplexes and heavy shots. There were definitely no too soons this match. These ladies just inflicted the damage. Yeah, these ladies are going all out. What a match. What a way to open, it, open night two of Immortality the Third. Muerte sets up a third table. The danger is real, ladies and gentlemen. Who will go through it? Who's going to be the last two? Bonica with a quick shot to reverse Morante, but that only gives a full Nelson suplex. Dragon suplex from Kim to Bonica. Morante sets up Bonica. They're teaming up on Bonica right now. She has been in charge. It makes sense. Yeah, she probably is the biggest threat thus far. But these are all three big, strong ladies ready to throw hands. Kim is just watching them go at it. She's going to take a second and get a little breather in, and that's smart play on her part. Spine buster, or backbreaker, rather, to, from Muerte to Bodica. Yep. Bodica, man, still reversing. Muerte, oh, changing shots. Muerte and Bodica are just dropping blows. Now Kim's back into it. And Bonica immediately reverses her. Oh, we got a table right there. We get, we're in the danger zone. Oh, we're setting Bonica up. Oh, is Bonica go? No, where's his up? Oh my God, with that table there, I'm so I, so much anxiety. Could be any three of these ladies. Oh, no, no, the, the, the legs table. folded. It's the, it's not. It doesn't yeah, count. She's not break. eliminated. Holy crap! That was crazy. Getting a second table out from under the ring, Muerte. I thought for sure she was done, but the leg just folded. The table's intact, and if the plane of the table is not cracked or broken, the lady is not eliminated. Oh, what's Kim doing to Muerte? Ooh, huge boot off that barricade. Kim teeing off with a bunch of shots. Puts her back into the barricade. She gonna do the boot again? Good gravy. Ah! Another shot to Muerte. Muerte is definitely taking a lot of damage here. Bodica getting a table set up as Kim slides Muerte back into the ring. You know, this has been night and day from last year when people were just going through tables left and yeah. right. I think that match was maybe 11 minutes long, but this year they're just killing each other to try and get that shot. What is there? They're struggling, jockeying for position. Lots of shots to each other's, the back of each other's heads. Muerte's gonna send Kim to the outside with a huge forearm. Bodica and Muerte, the only ones left. Nope, Muerte's gonna leave. Bodica takes the time. I mean, I think that's the strategy right now. With all the damage they've inflicted on each other, you gotta just take the time, try and recover, you know, try and get some breath back, try and work out those knots. 
in your uh, arms and legs and torso. Torso knots are the worst, Ziggy. The torso knots are absolutely the worst. Hardest part of the ring. Kim goes into the hardest part of the ring. Another torso knot That's for her. That's definitely going to leave a knot. <laughs> uh, Muerte is just teeing off on Kim Presley. She is looking worse for wear at this point. Oh, Muerte into the so corner of the table. Then over the ropes. Back in. Oh, just, just north of the table. Just north. Kim hits that edge of the table. Muerte's got Kim now. Into the table again. After taking the damage she just took, where is she oh. finding this energy? <laughs> it's just shot after shot to the midsection. Oh my god! Not after not left not here, folks. Not. Oh, 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 what a good looking. Oh. No! Brain Buster. I thought she was going to chuck her again like she did Marielle. Now Muerte's in trouble. Muerte's going into this corner. Kill with a suplex on Bodica. Ladies, you gotta put somebody through the table. Just Muerte and Kim left. Oh, you just turn it the other yeah, way! The, the dump, turn it. dump it to the left, Kim. <laughs> oh, big shot from Rante. Reversing that Irish whip. Gonna put Kim back in. That's like her abdomen is a bruise. Just one big purple bruise. Yep. Bodic is still down on the outside from that brutal brain brother. Nope. No one wants it! None of it. We're taking to send Kim into the ropes. Oh! Bodica steps in with just a huge boot. She took them both out, man! Jesus! <laughs> and then, another for good measure. Bodica's like, ah, uh, you, know, you don't do that to me. Oh, then a beetle toss! She is going off! No, Muerte reverses with big clothesline. Muerte standing now. Oh my god, ladies, use the tables. Holy crap. Bodica with the reversal. Got Muerte in the corner. What's she thinking? Gonna whip her across the other corner. Huge splash in the corner. Gonna send Bo uh, Muerte down. What is gonna pick her up? Are we thinking table finally? No! The lead! The lead! The leg gave out again! So now Bonica and Muerte have hit the table, but the leg gave out instead of breaking. And Holy no, moly! No table set up. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe, uh, nope. No, nope. no table set up. Kim loves to chuck that table around, man. I think she just likes the feel of it in her hands. Sure! Sturdy wood, folks. <laughs> German suplex. Nope. Fighting over the table now. Bodica's the one standing again. Oh, they're fighting over it. Just set it up, ladies. Just make a conscious effort to set it up. I think she got her in the face with that. German suplex. Oh my god. This match is anarchy. Alright, Kim's got the table in the corner. Threatening situation. That is technical difficulties. We've got some technical difficulties going on. Don't know what that is. All right, we're back. I don't know what that was. What that was. Someone tried to stick a promo in the middle of the match. Yeah, I think so. Somebody hit the button wrong. That person will be sacked. Ooh, straight jacket DDT on the Bodica. This could be it for Bodica. Kim, some missions don't work here. Got to put her through the table that you yourself set up. Muerte finally coming to on the outside. Is she going to get back into this triple threat scrum? Bodica is going to send Kim into the corner. Uh oh, Kim's in trouble. Muerte's got her. No! Oh, oh my God! Kim is absolutely annihilated through that table and impaled. The thing uh. like exploded. <laughs> Holy shit! That was. 
That was brutal. If you noticed, folks, the other table that was once out is now somehow back under the ring. That is weird and strange. I'm not quite sure what's happening on that. We're going to have to get Bill and I to investigate that one. <laughs> I, somebody needs to get medics to check on Kim. That suplex to that table was egregious. It is just down to the two powerhouses of the match. Big lady meat slapping lady meat. But my giant was too far. <laughs> she cannot find the table. She can't find the table. Where did that table go? Chair too. God. One of these women is gonna come away with a title shot. I cannot believe this match is still going. What's Would one of take? you grab the table? Somebody's got to get a table. All right, Muerte's gonna look now. Maybe Muerte. Will have She's good look. at finding them. She really is. Nope. <laughs> nope. Check the other side. I am sure that uh, whoever organized this match was probably worried at this time that. There just wasn't any more tables under there. And this match was going to be... I swear to God, I put four tables. <laughs> this is going to be my ass. <laughs> They're fighting again outside the ring. At this point, I'd call a truce. I'd be like, let's just try and find a table. <laughs> you check over there. You check over there. I'll check over here. We'll check all the corners. Muerte going high! Whoa! Oh, because power just killed what? Muerte. Into an F5! Oh my god! How did she do that? I have no idea. Muerte's huge! This is awesome, crowd! Into the spear of the gods! No, it would be more oh. awesome. Awesome, though, a table. It would be. There it is! And there it is. That could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Muerte just... I, I've never seen anything like that. That would be like Braun Strowman catching the big show out of there. <laughs> Bodica's going to put her to the table. She hits into the gut. Falls down. Yeah, come on, ladies. you got to put her through the table. Will this be it? Muerte is so out of energy, it's hard for Bodica to pick her up after those two huge moves. Now she's just pounding her into that table. I know, phrasing. Whoa, Mante shot life! Surprise big boot! She's gonna put Bonica into the table. Bonica's gonna fall over. Now can Muerte turn the tables? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! oh! Muerte is your winner! Wow! And an Alabama slam through the table. Holy Lord, what a match. Plays, have you ever seen anything like that? I have not so much table time. Um, <laughs> the the only killer m member of the Killers Club thus far yeah. to win their match here. She wins a shot at the Ultra Division title, or her and Amy can go for the doubles ultra. But I'm told we're backstage with Filthy Philly. we got to go backstage now, Blaze. Congratulations, Muerte. Filthy, tonight you are competing in the first round of the Diviase International. You think I give two shits about that, you little Joe Biden wannabe? Let them kids go touch your leg hairs or something. The only thing that matters is I finally got my hands on Tony Sinclair. One on one. I don't think I forgot about him. Old Diviass was a mastermind, but he was a benefactor. I know that silly lady has organized this to put him on a pedestal, make him look like a fool, but not tonight. No, I don't give two rats humping in an egg carton under the sea next to a whale who's talking about the resurrection about no tournament. I just know I get my hands on Sinclair, and when you do, you better believe things are gonna get filthy. All right. <laughs> 
never fails to disappoint the words coming out of that no, crazy, yeah. crazy man's mouth. Well, those are all his words. I can promise you that. <laughs> so that is true, however. Tony Sinclair, finally. Tony Sinclair, Filthy Phil, are going to go one-on-one -on -one here tonight in the opening round of DVSA. Now, remember, Boomsa won last week. So he will be in the finals. The winner of this will face them, I believe, next week. For to to win the DVSA tournament, that will apparently give championship implications. We don't know what that is yet. And here is the so-called nicest guy in wrestling, uh, with his uh, manager Julie Saint DVSA, who has caused nothing but controversy since coming out of the championship committee to manage him, uh, which is little. Uh, I think a little more than a conflict of interest. Yeah, yeah, quite a bit more. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not, uh, uh, it's not conducive with fair play at all. And Filthy Phil, unfortunately, has kind of uh, hit the brunt of this. He had a one-on-one -on -one match with Legacy. Uh, well, he had a, a shot to get a one-on-one -on -one match with Legacy. And then uh, Tony Sinclair was entered into the match last second, which cost him that one-on-one -on -one chance. Um... And, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he hasn't had the greatest year because of it. Yes, that is a fact. But he gets his opportunity to get some revenge here tonight. And Filthy Phil is a dangerous and skilled competitor. It's whether or not his insanity will allow him to uh, just use his skills. I think he gets in his own way a little bit. I mean, and if anybody heard him talk just now, <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying, what I'm talking about. But he definitely has a score to settle with Tony Sinclair. And that woman you see right behind him is the woman you heard about that he does not give two rats humping in an egg garden about. I mean, there was more that, like, on a whale in the yeah, revival yeah. or something like that, like, during the resurrection. Um, I, I, I would have to say Filthy Phil's Head is a dangerous place. <laughs> <laughs> Dangerous place. Would not want to be on his bad side. That's for sure. So here we go. Filthy Phil, Tony Sinclair, DVSA tournament. Who's going to win? Son of a bitch. Technical difficulties. Woo! Love him. Filthy Phil going straight for Tony. Just working those arms. Oh. No reversal. Doing some actual wrestling here. Rare for uh, Filthy. There's an elbow. Oh, we're going to lock up again. Tony's actually going to walk him back into the corner. We're going to see a clean break. We're going to see a clean break. We are. Clean break. Clean break. I don't know what that was. Tony Sinclair just went for a weird flippy-doo. Uh, Filthy sidestepped it. Got a good shot on his face. And then slashed. Slash into the corner. Then he just punched his butt. <laughs> Philly doesn't care what he's punching as long as he's punching it. Woo! Tony Sinclair getting Filthy Phil up. Oh! Ooh. That was insane. I don't even know what to call that. It was like a TKO over the ropes. You know, Tony Sinclair, love him or hate him, he's an innovator of offense. That's for sure. Filthy manages to fight him off on the outside. DiBiase screaming obscenities at him the whole time. Back in the ring. Tony Sinclair with another big reversal. And a drop kick. Filthy Phil's in trouble early. What kind of... What would it do to Filthy Phil's mental stability if he lost this? He'd be a broken man. He'd probably be turned into roadkill or something. Oh, no. We don't need that one of them. We we'll need two of them. Filthy, however, has shown some life with a huge over-the-shoulder rib breaker. Tony. Tony's aim is uh, is rattled by Filthy Phil's offense. He apparently was training with Logan on the high-risk maneuvers. Uh, he's missed a couple of times now. Not with that one. Pele kicked to the top of the head. Filthy's rocked. Tony with the STO. This has been a back-and-forth con competition. Tony Sinclair kind of gloating now, taking his time, kind of picking apart Filthy Phil. 
I feel like this is the time you got to go for those big high risk moves. Yeah. Just try and take out Filthy while he's down. Especially with an opponent like Filthy Phil, who's been known to be able to take a lot of damage and keep on going. Rib breaker. Yeah. Filthy's back in this thing now with that rib breaker. You don't want him to have a chance to channel that mad rage that he's got. Shot in the corner. Now he's down. Filthy <laughs> just headbutts him. There it is. It's getting just there. Oh! Snap reversal. Head scissors from Tony in the pin. Filthy Phil kicks it off and says, too soon. <laughs> Way too soon. Only a one count. Filthy now going with the striking game. Couple forearms. I mean, Tony. Filthy reverses into a huge knee and elbow. Maybe not the best way to fight Filthy Phil. Striking game. Stand-up strikes. I don't know if I'd choose that. Yeah, if I were Tony, I would stick to his high-flying maneuvers. Ooh. He's going to put Filthy shoulder first into the turnbuckle. Filthy still manages to catch that foot. Oh! He seems undaunted from that steel on his shoulder. Tony was obviously trying to separate it. That would make the mud stop drop very hard. To pull off. The old school nerve hold. Gotta love him. Oh, sweep from Tony as a reversal. Now Tony's stalking Filthy. Kick to the gut. Oh, pump handle, gut buster. Oh my God! Into the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter. This could be it. No. Filthy able to get in between that and reverse it. That's a deadly submission. Surprise Filthy was able to power out the way he was. Misses the drop kick, Tony Sinclair. Filthy catches himself. STO from Tony. Filthy down again. Uh oh. Could be looking for that Magnum Punch. Filthy Phil catches Tony Sinclair out of midair. Up on the show, he's a one stop drop! One stop drop! Hits it! He hits it! The crowd is loving tonight's matches! <laughs> Philly is now in full control after that reversal. Huge clothesline into a back body drop. Gonna finish it with a spot buster! I think that might be it! That might be it! Oh, that is it! Filthy Phil with a flurry of uh, maneuvers after his mud stomp drop hit. Yes! A flurry of maneuvers after that mud stomp drop hit. Uh, he just ran over him at the end there. That's that crazy rage. You can't let that get going. Tony's jumping into nothing. Powered out of the sharpshooter, which is a, a match ending submission. That's the mud stop drop after he caught him. Oh, what a shot. Then just did the extra. I think he could have pinned him up to the mud stop drop. He just ran over him just to run over him. Filthy Phil gets his vengeance here. Blaze, what do you think of that? Uh, good for him. You know, he. Maybe that'll bring a little sanity back into his mind. A little closure to him. He does have to take on Aaron Boonsa next week to win the Invitational. That's going to be a hell of a power game match. Uh, but now we got to go backstage. We've got a quick interview with Nikki on her actions uh, with uh, this whole powerhouse thing. Powerhouse pinnacle thing. Nikki. Things broke down between you and Gina last week when she got the fall to win the match. Do you think you took things too far? What is too far, Melissa? Huh? Can you tell me? Because an ego power sociopath has the Ultra Division title, and no matter how close I seem to get, I can't manage to get another shot. I warned her, Melissa. Don't you think Gina has earned it? Earned it? You know she got me fair and square in the revolver. But that was after I had wrestled a way more competitive round. And other than that, she had been carried by Kate. I can't take her shot away, but I can tell you Jenny is going to beat her. Only after Molly and I 
pull the double ultra straps off of her. I'm not leaving Immortality without gold. If the gold isn't the ultra championship, then it will be the doubles. Gina, Kate, what you have done with the double ultra titles is nothing short of amazing. You're one win away from retaining the titles for a full year. Couple that with being the first champions and Gina having a shot at the ultra title. What are your thoughts on going into tonight? We have a chance at something more, Melissa. Something greater than even being a champion. Tonight we have a chance at true history. To carve our names into the history books as more than just champions, but record holders, legends. Nikki thinks I don't have a right to be here. I can't wait to see the look on her face when I tap her out tonight. She thinks she is coming away with the titles. All she's coming away with is another broken dream. You know, we are always in this position to be interviewed, but you are barking up the wrong tree. Everybody else in this division can run their mouths, but we don't talk. We walk all over them and all over every team that has stepped into this ring with us. Tonight will be no different. And the talking's done. Here we go. Main event night two. Blaze, how excited are we for this match? Powerhouse versus the Pinnacle team. That is right, Ziggy. I start to, just as we got off of Filthy Phil's mental conditions, I start to wonder about the mental conditions of Nikki. I mean, I've loved Nikki since she joined this division. However, I think she is breaking down a little bit mentally. She cannot seem to let this Triple J uh stuff go and um it's definitely affecting her i think in a negative way it's definitely seemed to got in her head um i think that if you're molly you kind of go along with it because this is a title shot you got a title shot um they earn this title shot by being gina's teammates and winning the ground zero however contention immediately broke down because nikki had told gina not to win the match for him gina did um, which kind of barred Nikki from getting that rematch with Jenny for another time. And I think you're right. I think something about the Jenny feud has, has really gotten in Nikki's head, caused some issues. Um, but, uh, you know, on the other side of the aisle, Gina Reynolds has a chance to make history out of nowhere. Uh, she was a rookie at the very end of last year. Uh, with, during bonus round, she won the titles with her partner. And uh, she managed to win the Revolver Parallel to get a shot at Jenny. So she actually has a chance to be a double champion at, uh, first in history. And she is on fire, Ziggy. Burning plastic on fire. She clings to everyone she touches. Yes, yes, yes. The Reynolds Wrap is one of the most devastating moves, in the, if not the most devastating move, in the history of our business. Double Ultra Championships on the line. And one of the most useful products. Right. Yes, most useful. I would not recommend all the uses that have been recommended by my esteemed colleague, but very useful product nonetheless. No kids so far, Ziggy. We're getting into this one here. We're, we're not getting enough views on YouTube. I think once we do, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have, yes, the, there, you, there you see the champions. Uh, they have had a historic run with those titles uh, as it stands right now. Jenny has Jenny and uh, Nate Legacy, Nick Legacy have a chance to match it with their matches later on, but uh, this will be a full year if they win this with the titles. Nobody else has done that so far. Double Ultra titles on the line. God, those belts look glorious. Powerhouse versus the Pinnacle Team. Here we go. Main event. And as usual. It must be noted that there are no tags in doubles ultra matches. It's old school dual team rules. Uh, there is no countouts, no tags. It's two on two. That is right. They got to uh, separate their opponents and get the victory. Well, Gina and Nikki are looking to settle things right off the bat. Uh, Nikki it started it off right with the or Gina with an arm bar to Nikki. Uh, you have to. Uh, oof. Big clothesline from Nikki to Gina. We're going to be looking for a lot of submission and ground maneuvers from Gina and Kate. On the other side of the aisle, Molly and Nikki are all power in strikes. Molly Martin, uh, the, the lady master of the power bomb. 
Whoa, big vertical suplex from Gina to Nikki. Molly seems to have the upper hand on Kate. Nope, spoke too soon. Molly with a quick fireman's carry to Kate. Nikki now getting the upper hand on Gina. Powerhouse seems to have taken control. Kate to the outside. Molly's going to follow her. That leaves Nikki and Gina in the ring to settle their business. Huge Cobra uh, camel clutch. Ugh. Gina's going to reverse out of that. And then send Nikki to the apron. And then follow out to help Kate. Or not. No. Nope. Trickery. <laughs> Trickery! <laughs> Huge side suplex from Nikki to Gina. <clears throat> Arm breaker from Gina to Nikki. Back and forth competition. Nobody's got the upper hand yet. Gina switches her attention to Molly, who's been sent back into the ring by her partner. Well, Molly is the oldest lady in this ring right now. Not to, not to knock her, but she's got some wear on her. Got the most experience, but definitely has the more wear. Ooh. Backstabber from Nikki to Gina. That's a move she doesn't use often. No. I almost feel like she stole that from Jenny a little bit. Ooh! Big knee strike from Nikki to Gina. Meanwhile, Molly, package spin out power bomb. To Kate, huge power move. Powerhouse is in control. Well, I spoke too soon. Never fails. Say a thing, it becomes wrong. Molly sends Kate to the outside. Meanwhile, Gina getting some innovative offense on Nikki. What is Molly doing? Go! Oh! She just top rope dived and missed Kate in the outside of the ring. I think that was a big mistake there, Ziggy. I should think she should have took that time to turn her attention to Gina, and they should have secluded her in the ring. But now Gina has a arm bar locked in. Nikki just fought out. Kate manages to drop Molly on the stairs on the outside, and uh, just to point out more why that was a mistake, Molly has bad knees, and she missed with a knee drop. So that can't be good. Ooh, Ooh Falcon. Falcon arrow to Gina. Now Nikki's back in control. Still a back and forth competition. Nikki with a big knee strike. Oh. Arm ring and drop. Meanwhile, Kate is still working on Molly. It's weird, this match has almost been about Gina and Nikki's beef. Yeah, it has indeed. Back breaker to Gina from Nikki. It's very strange. It's almost like the partners are no. Like, we gotta let them yeah, settle. Yeah, they're letting them duke it out. Hmm. Meanwhile, Molly actually seems to have the upper hand on Kate despite a lot of damage early. I spoke too soon. Gina going back to that arm break, man. Arm breaker with the leg breaker. She's done that multiple times now. Nikki fights out again. Oh, oh! Molly, Molly for the pin attempt. Ooh, gets a two count. I think Gina's focus was a little too heavy. On uh, Nikki, she should have been trying to break that up, right? It's as if those two only see each other in the ring. That's a bad, bad move all the way around. Oh, ankle lock! Ankle lock! Kate's got the ankle lock in! Wait, she's fighting the ropes! Can she get to the ropes? She got to the ropes! So she's going to switch it into a dragon screw. Meanwhile, Nikki gets the upper hand on Gina with a giant uh, gut wrench power bomb. Oh, Nikki with a... Oh, drive by me. Meanwhile, Kate has the upper hand on Molly now. Raining down some shots. Kate to the outside of the ring. Nikki working an innovative submission there. Oh. 
Gina with a quick arm ringer drop. Snaps Nikki off uh, off her game. A little, little slingshot. Meanwhile, Kate and Molly are brawling on the outside again. <sighs> Nikki has Gina up on her shoulder. Ooh, snake eyes on the turnbuckle. Jawbreaker from Gina to Nikki, then a huge forearm shot. Meanwhile, Molly gets a reversal on Kate. Big kick to the gut. Into a body slam, a sit-out body slam. Man, this is all over the place. It's so hard to call. It's just very back and forth. Woo! Heel hook! Heel hook locked in on Molly! Heel hook locked in on Molly! Gina has Nikki! That's it! That's it! Molly taps! Molly taps! Gina had Nikki isolated. That's gonna be the match, ladies and gentlemen. Nikki and Gina cannot end it. <laughs> the ref kind of finally separates them. And then we still... They've done it! A full year as champions. The Pinnacle team have been undefeated in in doubles ultra competitions. Blaze, what kind of uh, an accomplishment is this? It hasn't been done yet in OMGEW, and it's nice to see these ladies be the first. Yeah, yeah, it is. Just nice dominate the field the entire year. The entire year, and you gotta wonder, like, I mean, are there how many teams are left to even challenge them? But we're done. Take us home, Blaze. Take us home. We're back next week with more immortality. Yeah, and you do not want to miss it, folks. You know. Same time, same place, right here at OMG Wrestling. You've been writing checks your mouth can't cash. You've been talking and walking a lot of shit back. You've been looking to validate all of your mistakes. But this is one step beyond what I can take Ain't scared, ain't never been scared It's all the same to me Ain't scared, ain't never been scared It's not hard to see Ain't scared, ain't never been scared It's all the same to me Ain't scared, ain't never been scared It's not hard to see